What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be taking a look at the first Dokkan Festival release on Global following the end of the Worldwide Celebration. And it's going to be for this Fizz Turles. So of course in this video, we are going to be checking out his uh, banner, the unit details, the side banner unit details, as well as all the animations to help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragonstones to try and pull these units. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. And the first thing we're going to do is watch their animations. So jumping over to the Dokkan uh, Twitter page here. Let me just quickly pause the music and enjoy, guys. Such strength is that brat. A Saiyan? He is a real one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is? A moon. First open and mix! Now, let me see your true form. So there you have it. Those are the animations for the new Fizz Turles as well as his, uh, you know, all his boys, basically, uh, the two side units. And uh, yeah, they look pretty good. Um, there's not much to say as far as these animations go. I think they're very solid animations, but nothing to get too excited for. And uh, oh, let's turn the music back on before we proceed to the banner review. So. Yeah, let's take a look at this banner. In total, we have seven SSRs, which is standard, a 5% featured pull rate, a 5% uh, unfeatured SSR pull rate. And uh, for the featured SSRs, we have Turles, we have uh, Cacao, and is it Days? Guys? Days. Let's go with Days. Days and Cacao, and also uh, Mr. Ballsack Head Guy, and uh, Amond, too. So. Those are the three new units. And then for the uh, older units, we have this Dokkan Fest Yamcha. We have Tech um, Bardock. We have AGL Turles. And also the SDR Bojack. So as a whole, this banner is okay. It's okay. Uh, rating like a 6.5 out of 10. So, um,. I would say like above, uh, no, not above average. It's, it's about average. It's about an average Dokkan Festival banner. Um, sorry, give me one sec. Bye. Okay, and we are back. Um, I had to take a quick phone call for one of the properties that we have listed. Uh, oh, by the way, in case you guys missed the last video, uh, your boy is a realtor now. So feel free to go follow my uh, real estate page, Tiger Sun Homes on Instagram or uh, all that stuff. But anyways, getting back to the banner, um, as I was saying, it's a pretty average Dokkan Festival banner, like non-major celebration banner. And uh, obviously Turles himself is quite good. We'll get into that. These banner units are really good, actually. And uh, for the other Dokkan Fests, I mean, Yamcha, I still think is good. Um, I think Bardock is good, Turles with the AZA is a very good support unit still, and uh, Bojack is um, decent, he's decent I would say. So 
yeah, nothing crazy. Just a okay Dokkan Fest banner. Definitely not worth splurging on. Yeah, that's the banner. So now let's move on to the units. Starting with Turles, his leader skill is Space Traveling Warriors or Pure Saiyans. Category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30%. For characters who also belong to the Planetary Destruction or Low Class Warrior category. And his super attack raises attack, causes immense damage, and recovers 6% HP. Passive, if there is a Goku's family, category enemy, or an enemy whose name includes Gohan Kid, at start of character's attacking turn, activates the entrance animation once only, an extreme class allies key plus 3 and attack plus 18%. For the rest of the battle so this effect is really good and based on my understanding of how it works it's uh something that lasts for the entire fight for the entire event so um definitely very good support but i don't love the fact that it's kind of tied to or i mean it is tied to a specific type of enemy which is goku's family or specifically gohan kid right so that is kind of unfortunate because it does make him at least for the support side, a little bit uh, limited for certain events, right? And then from there, attack and defense plus 160%, plus an additional attack plus 60%, and launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when HP is 50% or more, plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack, E plus 2 up to 8 reduces damage received by 5% up to 20%, and defense plus 40% up to 160% with each super attack performed. Attacks effective against all types and launches another additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack starting from the turn in which the character performs the sixth attack in battle. And because he's launching so many attacks every single turn, um, you're going to be getting this pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, as a whole, he's getting uh, really good uh, attack boosts. He's getting a lot of defense boosts uh, along with the damage reduction of course. It makes him pretty tanky and um, yeah just a really good unit. Um, of course before we do a full review let's talk about this active skill. Uh, it can be activated from the third turn when there is a Goku's family, category enemy, or an enemy whose name includes Gohan Kid or it can be activated from the sixth turn once only and it greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to the enemy. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Big Bad Bosses, which is awesome, Thirst for Conquest, Brutal Beatdown, Prepare for Battle, Destroyer of the Universe, and Fierce Battle, and his categories are Low Class Warrior, Movie Bosses, Pure Saiyans, Terrifying Conquerors, Final Trump Cards, Space Traveling Warriors, and Planetary Destruction. So that is the Fizzed Hurtless, um, and... Like I said, I think he's really good. I really do. But uh, he's um, a little bit just not exciting, I feel like. Uh, not because it's Turles. I actually love Turles as a villain. I think he's... Um, I, lo I love this movie and all that stuff, right? So, like, don't come at me saying I'm a Turles hater. But what I gotta say is his kit is just kind of... It's whatever, you know, like he's good, but not amazing. He's not like a top five TUR in my opinion by any means. And uh, there's just like much better things on the horizon, you know, like full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, for example, that is coming pretty soon. Like I think literally next month they should be dropping. So um, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Like if you really love Turles, go for it. If you don't care that much about Turles or he's not like your favorite character, then you might want to consider just uh, skipping this one, you know? So that's the turret list. Let's talk about these banner units, which are actually very impressive. Uh, starting with the Days and Kakao, leader skill is Space Traveling Warriors, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 150%, launches an additional attack. It has a high chance of becoming a super attack, chance of performing a critical hit, and chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks, plus 10% per space traveling warriors, category ally attacking in the same turn, self-excluded, plus an additional attack, plus 
150% medium chance of performing a critical hit and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks as the second or third attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with each super attack performed up to 150%. Um, yeah, they just do a little bit of everything. Um, they got the dodge chance, the crit chance, multiple supers. Um, yeah, just really, really good. And the crazy part is that between the two banner units, this is actually the one that's seen as inferior. So the next one is even better, which uh, we'll get to. Uh, Lynx, Loyalty, Destroyer of the Universe, Team Turnless, Brutal Beatdown, Thirst for Conquest, uh, Solid Support, and Fierce Battle, and Categories of Joint Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, Space Traveling Warriors, and Planetary Destruction. So next up we have the Ballsack Head Guy and Raisin, or Razin. I do not remember how they pronounce these names because it's been such a long time since I've seen the movie, but... Uh, the most important part is Ball Sack Guy, Leader Skill, Planetary Destruction, Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, Super Attack, Raises Defense for 1 turn, and causes Supreme Damage with a high chance of Sealing Super Attack, and Passive is Attack and Defense plus 150%, Planetary Destruction, Category Allies, Key Plus 1, and Attack and Defense plus 30%, plus an additional Defense plus 20%, and Chance of Performing a Critical Hit plus 10% for Allies, who also belong to the Space Traveling Warriors category. Guards all attacks and reduces damage received by 20% as the first attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 50%, and launches an additional super attack as the second or third attacker in a turn, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with every time, uh, or every time guard is activated up to 150%. These guys are awesome. These guys are super, super good, and it's rare that you get a um, banner unit, a non dokkan Fest unit that is so good as a slot 1 defender, you know? Like, we need more of those always, and these guys are a great option for the Turtles team in that slot 1. Um, so, yeah, I just love this unit. I think they're awesome. Uh, links are Loyalty, Destroyer of the Universe, Turtles, Team Turtles, Brutal Beatdown, Thirst for Conquest. Uh, Tough as Nails and Fierce Battle and Categories Joint Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, Space Traveling Warriors, and Planetary Destruction. So that is Ballsack Head and Razin or Raisin. And uh, that is the banner, guys. Or those are the new units. Those are the new banner units. This is the banner. These are the animations, which we saw earlier. And uh, let's just play this while we talk about the you know, overview, recommendations, all those things. Obviously, at this point, usually... I would like to think that you have enough information for yourselves to determine if, uh, you know, this banner and these units are worth it, are worth summoning. Um, for me personally, I think it's going to be a skip. Uh, I'm skipping because these days I'm just not really going as hard on the spending with Dokkan, just given all these expenses I have and also just everything else I'm doing um, outside of YouTube. But if it was like something I was really excited for, of course, I would still buy stones, right? It's just... I don't think this release is worth it. Uh, Turtles is not like my favorite villain by any means. I do like him, but he's not like, you know, a top tier villain for me. And uh, these units, I mean, as awesome as the banner units are, you can get them on every banner going forward. So it's not like I need to summon on this banner to get them eventually. And Turtles himself is just a good Dole Confess unit that, you know, would be fun to play around with for a bit, but nothing exceptional, you know, outside of... Uh, Outside of that, so um, not a must have by any means, not the best banner either. Uh, so, definitely, I would recommend either light spending, like a very light spending, a couple of multis at most, or a skip. Um, but you know, let me know in the comments what you guys are planning to do, how you guys feel about this whole uh, release, and uh, if you are going to be summoning, then how many stones you have prepared for Turles and Ballsack Head and uh, all the other guys. Uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.